Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And yes, I'm giving you another top 10 list. And this is going to be my top 10 favorite Jennifer Lawrence movies. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, you know her from a couple franchises, the X-Men prequel franchise, along with the Hunger Games franchise, among other movies. But uh, she has done some great movies, in my opinion. And although I've only seen 10 of her so far, I wanted to go ahead and do a top 10 list because I don't see, uh, see me watching any of her, uh, any more of her movies uh, in the future right now, unless they're new ones. Uh, not that I'm not looking for her movies, but it's probably just going to be a while. So I figure I'd go ahead and knock this top 10 list out, and I can always change it after I watch four or five movies. And my rule of thumb is um, I usually like to have at least 12 of their movies before I do one, but I got 10, and I love her so much, I'm going to go ahead and put the 10 that I have seen uh, from uh, number 10 to 1. So coming number 10 is X-Men Apocalypse. Number nine is Hunger Games Catching Fire. Number eight is X-Men Days of Futures Past. Number seven is Mother. Number six is the original Hunger Games. If you don't know what the Hunger Games is, is uh, there's several different districts uh, that people are broken up into. Each district has to send one person from each district to play in the Hunger Games. And the Hunger Games is simple. Last Man Standing wins. And uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what happens. But I'm not going to say anything, but this is a great movie. And uh, I love the franchise, as you will see here. Uh, coming number five and number four are Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 for number five. And then Hunger Games Mocking J Part 1 for number 4. I love the finish to this uh, franchise. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence is badass in this movie. Uh, I love all the different traps and stuff they have set for them. Especially in Mocking J 1. That they have to maneuver around. And it, it's this is just a phenomenal series. It's got a great cast. I mean, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh, Julianne Moore, Jennifer Lawrence, of course. Uh, it, it's just phenomenal. Uh, I can go on and on about this series, but I don't want to take up too much time. But the Hunger Games franchise is excellent. I recommend all four movies if you haven't seen them already. Number three is Passengers. Yes. Jennifer Lawrence, Chris Pratt, and Lawrence Fishburne. This is about way in the future. These people are being sent through space uh, to a new planet. Uh, but the thing is, they're not supposed to wake up uh, until they get there. Well, uh, there was a power surge and Chris Pratt's character is awoken. And he's the only one that's awake uh, for a better part of a year. And he tried to figure out what happened, what's going on. He awakens to a bartender played by Martin Sheen, which he's fantastic in this movie. Uh, not Martin Sheen. Um, oh, uh, I can't. I can't remember his. He, he's a Sheen. I can't remember his freaking first name. But anyway, he wakes up. It's just him and the bartender. So he decides to wake up another passenger, Jennifer Lawrence, and who wouldn't want to wake her up because she's just freaking gorgeous. Uh, but then she finds out that uh, she wasn't woken up on accident. It was on purpose, and she gets really mad. Uh, but this is a great movie. Lawrence Fishburne uh, appears in the movie, too, for about 20, 25 minutes or so. But it's a simple movie, but I love it. And uh, I think it's underrated. I know critics were mixed to negative on it, but I don't care. I love it. And, uh, yeah, Passengers number three. Number two. Red Sparrow. Oh my god. This was a badass movie. Uh, she, she kicks ass in this movie as well. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away. Um, and there's a part in this movie that I did not see coming. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it's, uh, some people had an issue with it, but uh, it was a very important part of the movie and part of their training. And uh, I, I thought it was funny. It was badass. And yeah, she is gorgeous in this movie, and that's all I'm going to say. But Red Sparrow, check it out. And my number one favorite Jennifer Lawrence movie is X-Men First Class. This is my favorite of the prequels, and it's one of my favorite X-Men films of all time. Kevin Bacon as the villain, badass. We get to see these kids when they're young, and we get to see what happens to... um, Charles Xavier and how he is injured uh, and ends up in a wheelchair. Uh, Magneto, uh, younger, uh, the Beast. Uh, just, just excellent, excellent. Uh, and uh, yeah, I love her. She, she, she looks great in blue. Let's just put it that way. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That is my top ten favorite Jennifer Lawrence movies. So in the comment section below, tell me, what are some of your favorite Jennifer Lawrence movies? Do you even like Jennifer Lawrence? Let me know about that as well. And of the 10 movies that I have uh, given you, uh, if there's any movies that you think I should see that I didn't mention in my top 10, let me know in the comment section below because I'm always looking for uh, more movies. Uh, Right now, I just haven't seen any on TV that I can record and watch of hers, but I'm always looking out. Uh, If I have to, I will pay to watch them. Um, But let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I thank you for watching yet another Top 10 list. Stay tuned for more content. I'll be doing a lot more Top 10 lists this evening. Uh, Other than that, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. If you like this, hit the like button. And share the video with all your family and friends. I appreciate each and every one of you. And check you later.